With zombie properties like this one in Washingtonville on the rise, Assemblyman James Scoofus thinks he has the answer. We are standing in front of a home that has been stuck in the foreclosure process for about three years now. While you might not see anything like this in horror movies or The Walking Dead, for many people, these zombie properties, the neighbors especially, it is just as much of a nightmare for them. We have recent studies showing that these zombie properties bring the property values of neighbors down. You know, the biggest investment that a family can make in their lives is buying a home. And because next door there's a vacant property, their investment drops. Just as importantly, you know, we have homes falling into disrepair. Technically speaking, because the foreclosure is not final, the homeowner is supposed to be responsible for this property, but the homeowner is nowhere to be found. In this case, a lawn that was mowed by the town of New Windsor and taxpayers taken care of because the bank drags their feet through this process. Back in 2015, the state of New York has entered into an agreement with many of the banks, the Department of Financial Services, a best practice agreement where the banks would voluntarily come forward with a list of properties. I have not been able to get those properties. Uh, I've had to foil the list. And as part of that agreement, the legislature and the legislators and the elected officials, especially the local officials, are supposed to have a copy of who is supposed to maintain these properties, who is supposed to uh, do their due diligence on these properties. We are getting blocked by the state of New York, too. As we live in a bedroom community that services mainly New York, I think uh, many of these people leave early in the morning, come back late at night, don't have time to deal with it, and many times they assume the elected officials are taking care of it. Unfortunately, that assumption is many times wrong. But what I'm going to do is get try and get a list of these properties and work with James to see what we can do. When a property stays vacant within a one-eighth mile, it takes about 1.4% equity. So the banks are stealing money out of your pocket without you even knowing it. The banks weren't cooperating, and the banks were stalling these foreclosure actions and letting homes like this sit and deteriorate for years. The fact that homeowners struggle to make their mortgage payment is a huge problem in Orange County as well as it's still a huge problem in all of New York State. Being able to ha get the message out that homeowners are not required to leave their home until the foreclosure process is complete is my main message. There is help out there. There is free help out there. Be aware of anybody looking to charge you for assistance. We are a local nonprofit and we can help you with that process and follow you through to the end and sometimes even save the home. Not only do we have to have a legislative solution, we also have to have a practical solution where we are holding the banks accountable and we are calling them out. Shame, shame, shame <laughs> on you, Wells Fargo. Jay Berkey, HVNN.com.